Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and it's now time to show you the camera application on this Sony Xperia T. Now, the reason why I'm doing this one is because a lot of people enjoyed my Galaxy S3 one, and obviously this being the probably one of the best camera phones in the market, obviously I thought it'd be worth a quick shot. So, we just unlock the phone itself, which comes in a kit in a bit of a snazzy lock screen. So, we we'll go straight to the camera application. What I'm going to do is show the guys to the normal camera, the actual video camera as well. So as you can see here, straight off the bat, this is not how you'll get it when you get your device. It won't look like this. It'll actually look, which I'll put it to the resolution, it'll look like that. Now, you're probably thinking that looks better. That's actually 10 megapixel. The camera itself is a 13 megapixel sensor. And what you're doing is you're actually cropping the image by doing this here. It doesn't look like it because obviously, you know, it looks like it's a bigger image. I'm just going to zoom out slightly. Um, just bring this up really quickly. So just to show you, obviously, you know, you see that there. Now, if I change the image, the actual resolution, hopefully it's going to show you. You actually get more of the, you actually get more of the top. It's not basically, it's not cut out. As you see there, you see that there at the top now. So if I show you, so if I now go down to 10 megapixel by showing you that there, you'll watch that'll disappear. Boom. So it actually crops the image. So if I were you, as soon as you get your device, it'll open up like this. Go straight to your settings, 10 megapixel, make it 13, and you're going to get the full actual 30 megapixel resolution. Anyway, on we go. Obviously, you've got your normal camera button, your video, obviously, you can view a gallery there, switching from video to camera. You've got your different scenes, so you can have your, your um, scene recognition auto, normal front camera, or sweeping panorama. You then get your automatic flash, fill flash, red eye reduction, and off. The red eye reduction, I think, is a pretty cool feature, and I've not really seen it on many other phones previously. Also, we also get, obviously, your resolution. We've got the flash already. You've got your self-timer, which comes in three different ones. I think it's got 10 seconds, fire, two seconds, and off. So let's go back. You've got your smile detection. Now, this is a good one. It's actually a really good smile detection as well, and you can choose how kind of sensitive you want it to be. So as an example, if you want it so every time somebody does a little smirk, use the actual normal small smile. Average smile for as you think say an average smile and big smile for a big massive cheesy grim. And it works really well as it's I've been playing with it um, and it, it is a very, very impressive kind of actual feature. Other phones I've got like the Galaxy S3 it does have it. This one seems to work a little bit better. Geotagging, which is always a nice little feature on there. Capturing mode, your on-screen button, which is obviously your button here. You touch, so you can just touch the screen, does it? Or just the cam camera key only. I have it on this one here. You can use the camera key or the on-screen button. Shutter sound on or off, self-explanatory. And your quick launch, so you can have launch the camera, launch only or off. This is basically when your screen's turned off, you can now launch it and take a picture straight away. Now, I'll show you this. It doesn't work as well as it should. And I'll see if I can show you now. So, bring in trusty old watch, which I've used previously. And again, we'll zoom out to get a bit of a better look. So, all you're meant to do is basically hold that to a camera button. If I can get it to focus. There we go, the camera button. You're meant to just hold it down. It's meant to take the picture straight away. Now, what you'll notice is it's probably going to work now. You have to press it down twice. So, as an example, if I press it down once, so one, two, three, I've pressed it down, it doesn't work. you then got to press it for a second time for it to turn on. And the boom takes the picture. So you can see there, it's taking the picture straight away. Okay, it's taking another picture. Don't know what happened there. We'll try again. So we'll turn the screen off. So as you can see, is this I'm taking the picture of, not that. So uh, one, two, three, you tap it once, and it, it's loaded straight away this time. And hopefully, this time, it's taking the picture. But as you saw previously, it doesn't always take the picture first time, but as you probably see, it's a pretty nice clear image. But it doesn't always work, and I don't understand why. Sometimes you've got it off, and you can, you know, you press it in, so as an example, one, two, three, and it works. And other times it doesn't, and I can't fathom out why. Sometimes you need to press it twice, sometimes you need to press it once. So I don't know if that's a software bug that they need to fix, but hopefully they're going to fix it in a future update, because it is a bit annoying. Anyway, off we go. Let's go back into the settings. So obviously they're all the settings for actual you know camera itself. That's it. There's no other kind of um, kind of setting itself. So what we're gonna do now is go back, switch to the video. Now again, when you first get your camera out of the box, when you get your phone out of the box, it's gonna be on 720p resolution. Now I don't know why they do this, but they make it 720p. 
put it to full HD and it's going to record in full HD for you. So let's go back out of there. So you get your scenes. So you got off, portrait, night, sports, landscape, beach and snow and party. You know, get a nice amount of the kind of scenes there. Obviously resolution, we've seen that. Full HD 720 VGR multimedia message. You get to photo light. So if you want to have your light on or off, you know, you can choose if you want it on or off. So see there, it makes it makes like a nice, nice little bit of... A bit crisper, and you've got like a little uh, shortcut buttons there as well. Jump back into it, you get your self time exactly the same as the actual camera itself. We've got focus mode now. I've been testing the face detection, it works pretty well. And a single auto fuck, which I've been testing, that's what I use for the outside videos, which you should see on the channel soon or maybe already uploaded. You've then got your exposure value, which I'm very impressed by this. So, as an example, it comes default as this. Now, if you look at that, it looks a bit wishy washy. Especially when you look at the actual colour here up to there. So, if you go into your exposure value, what you can do is, I'll show you, bring this down to make it almost match. Which I think is pretty damn cool. And it works. It's a very, very, a very impressive feature. And your white balance as well, yes. You can change your white balancing. So, if you want it to auto, you can have um, incandescent. It always goes off really quickly. Okay, what am I doing now? There we go, I'll go back into it. We've then got fluorescent, daylight, and obviously we've got cloudy. We've then got a metering mode, so you've got your centre, your average, and your spot, which is always cool to have these ones. I always keep it on centre because I don't really notice much of a difference, but I like the fact that you can actually have the different settings. You've then got your image stabilisation on or off, and it works pretty well, does that? Like, I use the on my videos. So I across, you've got your geotag, and again, microphone on or off. Don't know why you want it off, but you can. Capturing mode and obviously shut us down as well. So that's it. That's the camera application on the Sony Xperia T. And I must say, all in all, it's a nice quality camera. You know, the actual application itself. It's kind of nicely laid out. I'm not a massive fan of the menu system. They could have made it a bit more menu than just big block buttons. But I guess it's, you know, for making it for easier kind of use. But yeah, that's it, people. Do you have any questions about the Sony Xperia T camera quality, the application, anything you want me to show you? You know, let me know down below. I'll show you if I can do it. I'll do my best for you to answer all my other questions. If you're not following me on Twitter, there you go. Follow me on Twitter, at Sam J. Pullum. Don't forget to like, subscribe, favourite, all that kind of good stuff. It is very much appreciated. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers, everyone.